good to go. All right. How you doing? I'm Bud Hancock with Off Leash Canine Training for the Seattle Tacoma Metro Branch. Um, we have Kenzie here who's a Airedale uh, Terrier mixed with Staffordshire Terrier. Uh, she's been aggressive behavior modification. Um, today what we want to go over with is holding the sit accountable. Alright, so when we're doing the sit command, you know, uh, sit means sit and you don't have to give a weight command, you don't have to give a stay command or anything like that because the uh, indicator to the dog will be is, oop, I popped my butt on the ground. It's just one second because you didn't say wait or stay. Well, I guess that's it. I can just get up, right? That's what you're kind of conditioning the dog to because you're doing a little bit of a redundant command that um, the dog was already sitting. Why do you gotta stay wait or stay when the dog's already still? I wanna say stay or something like that to freeze action. They're moving, I wanted to pause you, then I'll, you know, but you can also do a sit in motion, down in motion, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do the SIT. We're just gonna kind of hold it. I'm gonna let allow her to, you know, break it or whatnot, so we can demonstrate how I'm gonna hold accountability. And essentially, if I take, she gets, uh, she works very low levels the way I teach. So she responds about like on two or three, you know. So that's all I'll be on when I put her into the SIT position, and we'll just do it as we're going. Come, good. Come, Kenzie, sit. Good. All right, so right now, I'm on about a two. I want to be on something if she breaks because she's in obedience, we're gonna have low level leash guidance and I got my eye on her right now. I want to be as fast as possible. Sit, sit. Good. So right there, I was just on two. And then I did leash guidance at the same time. I'm tapping the black S button on the uh, mini educator here is the model that we're using um, uh, each time I'm saying it until she uh, drops her bottom and uh, is going towards that sit position and immediately as she's committing to the position, right? You see her uh, looking down, a little disinterested, right? 51% attention to me and not good. That was a good decision, right? Frick, oh, dad wanted to go mama's. And so now that accountability that I got, okay, it held me a little bit of stability there and she almost went and made a bad decision and okay boss i'm gonna check in with the tower now what you want me to do Woo! we're gonna give that a nice paycheck right and we uh, tell them what not to do and we're paying them for what to do um so let's do that again and i was on two and yes i'm tapping immediately because in the sit they're in command so when they break they're telling you to go hey bud uh, go screw yourself up roger that and that's all just not even personal Hey, that's business. I get opportunity for training repetitions right now. I get opportunity for programming and building this language, right? A, B, C, D, what comes next? That's how this dog is gonna understand this method. Sort of like a ladder method, but you can go down, you can go up um, uh, to get the dog's attention. Only enough to get that dog's attention in accordance with leash guidance. Here's that SIT once again. Sit. Good. Good sit. So I might move around a little bit, do some proof training here, because if she's doing super good in there, then, you know, but I'll use leash, I'm on to, and I'll be tapping. Every time you hear me say uh, SIT, I'm tapping with leash guidance. Only until she decides to go down. Now you can go up to tap, up to tap if necessary, you know, but if you're having to do that and you're going really high pressure to do that, strong arming, Take a look at your environment, right? We got a low level environment here, not too many distractions. Good sit, you know, so the dog can be able to receive information correctly. You can work on that proper leash guidance and everything. So, good sit, Kenzie. Oh, man. I oh, mean, just trying to make her break, you know. Woo! Good. All right. Sit, sit. Good. So, we're on two, tapping each time. Sit, sit. And that leash guidance was helping that A, B, C. Now, if I need to go up to tap, up to tap, I would. Uh, but for her, she works a very low, good sit, right? You see all how she's like, okay, stop that leash tension when she was in this, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, uh, because she's been conditioned very well and very consistent. And, uh, see right? All right, almost made a bad decision. Good. And I mark it as soon as you get eye contact. So pain for doing well is also essential. 
right? Good. Keep doing what you're doing. It's my marker word. Now, if I give that break, you know, good girl. And I'll do it in place a lot, right? Break. Oh, what a good mama. Good shit. Oh. All right. So, um, and let's do it again. Let her check out some stuff, wash off her brain. A thing you don't want to do is come out here and say, hey, I'm going to do five hours of sit. You know, you're the human who wants to crush out production, right? But you're going to bore the dog, you're going to bore yourself. And after a few repetitions of that dog doing the sit, 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 guess what? It's going to start changing its fundamentals on you. Sit, roll a hip, I'm, I'm bored. Am I doing it right? You keep asking me 500 times to do it. So keep it short and sweet, right? Rule of three. Three progressive repetitions, three good repetitions. They don't always have to be perfect if the dog's in the learning phase, but gaining ground. And then high, high level praise break, move on to something else, or put the dog up in the kennel so it's uh, digesting that uh, great training that you just did, right? So here's the SIT, sit. Right? So she didn't do it, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and hold that accountable. This is perfect, right? We're on two, just as if she was to break. You wanna be quick on your time list. Sit, sit, sit. Good. Every time I was tapping, we're on two because it gets, you know, uh, she works on very low levels. Um, now, if I gave her another command, I'm actually gonna go back down to zero. Come. Good, come. Come, good girl. Break. And she was able to do that. I didn't have no pressure on her whatsoever because I'm giving her a chance. But the sit is different because she's in command. Sit. All right. And now I'm on two or whatever your dog's appropriate levels to get their attention. Now let's say they weren't listening to it very well and you have to go uh, higher than just what gets their attention. But I guarantee you if you tap and use the low level leash guidance on the number that just barely gets their attention, you're going to be good. But if you have to go up to tap, up to tap, don't do that more than you can do that. But just don't do it more. If you see the dog scratching, having a hard time understanding, then it might be the environment is not so great. Or maybe you need a little bit more leash guidance. And, you know, this is teaching everything. This is sit, sit, good, sick a girl, right? You know, I didn't give her the B-R-E-K, but it was an opportunity for good girl, break. And I don't get mad because I just got more training opportunities. Later on, when I don't have to correct this dog for three months, four months, I don't know why I was 100% right here. Very patient, always gonna hold it accountable, but it makes my life very, very easy in the long run. One more time on that one, huh? Come, good, good girl, Kenzie. Arms reach distance for that come command. Good, come, a sick girl. And she's been volunteering to sit now because of her consistency. You can check out her demeanor here. You probably can't even see it. Come, good. Good girl, Kenzie, sit, good. You know, nice and attentive because she knows what's coming next if she does a good job, right? A little paycheck or something like that. Good sit. All right. You see that pause and marker train that I'm coming into her space for? Well, I don't want to. That's great, right? I'm inducing stability. Here. Good sit. Sicker girl. That's a great position. And you're near me. Good sit. You don't want to be nowhere else in accordance with us holding the accountability if need be, right? Now I said break on a little cheater move there, a break while she's in position. And oh man, I'm paying you good sit. Well, now it's a volunteer action, right? I gave you the break, you could go, you know, pee poo, not in here obviously, but outside. You just, you can get out of the obedience command, which is the, uh, the other command within uh, lesson one that we did. So we kind of went a little bit over, let's do that come again, break. All right, leash tension. We don't got that much room in here, do we? <laughs> all right. Well, that was good coming, good set, and all that good stuff. Praise your good girl. All right. Now, if she doesn't break, we'll just kind of show you with leash tension here. Now, if she was to break right now, I'm already on two, and whatever level is getting her uh, is getting her attention for this environment, and leash guidance is helping out. So notice how I got low level bungee tension, right? You know, so it'd be like you know. Let's see if we can kind of uh, prove some train right. She's in command, so if she breaks, even if I do some stuff, you know, it's not like I'm, you know, being unfair. I just don't want to be too raggedy with my distractions and jumping around if they're not ready for it. That's a little bit unfair. We want to walk them up on the distraction levels very um, specific to their progression of comprehension. Good sit. Right? 
So she already now has a little issue with me going behind. They want to break and keep eyes on when they don't have um, all the confidence. Good sit. So you see how she almost broke there? I stopped my movement right there. These are those short circles I was talking to you. Come, come, good. Sit, sit, good. So now there, she got a little bit more than arm's reach distance. Maybe she didn't, but it was a good opportunity to display, to gain, regain that um, good sit. That focus back on that come. I brought you back to the SIT where you'd originally broken, right? And we held accountability. I was still just on two for that. Leash, leash guidance, sit, sit. And, uh, uh, and here we are. And so then you're taking a look at that stability from you being that consistent. But not overdoing this, we're about to end this session because, we, like I said, all right, we, we want to keep it nice, fresh, and dynamic. And I'm going to end this on a high note just like this. We got our kennel over here in my, ke my corner of my dining room. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put her up on a high note. Maybe I'll give her a treat. Woo! -hoo! Right? Because she'll want to get here next time and just pick up where we left off, right? Good sit. Sick your girl. Sit. Sit. Right? A little bit of uh, I created a area, I didn't say break, so I'm not being, but I'm still on two, which, you know, gets her attention. Good. But your dog may be a little bit higher, you know, uh, it's what they notice uh, just enough. Good sit. Uh oh. Sick your girl, Kenzie. <laughs> Good sit. All right, now for this good focus and, and that improvement right there, that's a great note to end this on, on that stability, right? Good sit, mama. Oh, what's a good girl? Oh, what's a good girl? Yeah, oh, that's a mama. What's a good mama? Oh, good girl. Oh, yeah. Y'all good. Oh, that's good. She does a little shake, you know? You do a little shake? Give me a shake. Oh, right your pal. Oh, pow, pow. This one. What time is it? Game time. Woo! Break! Woo! Toss. Toss. Good girl. How's the girl? Oh, my God, Mama. My good girl. Oh, good girl. Oh, Kenzie. And so now, nice, crisp repetition there. That stability that we were working for that whole time, we upped a couple levels there. Boom, eye contact, break, you know, break, go back to the house, and that's our kennel over there. And man, now they're sitting down, bending down, got a little snag, water, man, that was nice. Now we get a little a nap here. My brain was challenging right there. That'll put her, that some dogs, that's gonna make them, you know, relax for the day because you're turning the wheels and deep practice and low level environment. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions or anything like that, please go ahead and uh, leave some comments and uh, you know rate the video how you like it, uh, but also ask questions please because that's what we're here for is to continue um, uh, uh, addressing the stuff that we don't know about. Sorry, we went in low power mode on the phone there. Um, yes. This is, uh, but yeah, any questions, comments, because we can shoot some follow-up tutorials if there's some, there's always something that's specific that, you know, may have missed uh, of interest to you. But we will uh, follow that up with a tutorial video as well. So uh, thanks again, and you have a good evening.